things that make me nervous when I come out into the woods by myself. <laughs> like, who put this here? <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. And there is my motorcycle. And my name is Erica. And I hope you enjoyed the little clip in the beginning there. I kind of enjoyed making it. I usually just do art videos, but since I took a hike through the Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park this weekend, I decided I would go ahead and upload some of the footage that I took of the creepy building that was in the middle of nowhere, and then just kind of scatter some of the different pictures I took in there of some of the cool trees and the little bridges. And if you're wondering where the Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park is, it is in Northport in sunny southwest Florida. Although lately the sunny has been kind of hit or miss around here. <laughs> but it really hasn't been cold at all. I hope everyone is doing good while the holidays whirl around us. The new year is almost here. 2020 is almost here. And I love double numbers, and I love circles, so it's kind of funny that, you know, I get to be alive during the year 2020, and since I know that more than likely I won't make it to see 2121, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy all 365 days I get to be in this double digit year, or something like that. I guess it probably changes if we're in a leap year or something. <laughs> and of course, that's also considering the scientists don't figure out some way to keep our genes from degrading every time they regenerate. Or our cells, our cells from degrading. So yeah, unless the scientists figure out some way to keep us alive for a thousand years, this will be the only double digit year that I lived through. I mean, how many people do you know that were alive in 1919? I know I don't know any. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the only double digit year I'm going to get. <laughs> I wonder how many fun names this year we'll get. The year of hindsight, year of reflection, because you know, 2020, a mirroring, I don't I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure we'll come up with something good. Okay, in this video I am working on a drawing of a Picasso bug. Which is also why I thought it would be fun to add the woodsy stuff to this video. Because, you know, there's a lot of bugs in the woods. <laughs> and there were also a few mushrooms. But there were a ton of hitchhikers. And I'm not talking about the two-legged kind with an extended thumb. I'm talking about the little things that are on plants that stick to your clothes. I seem to be a little like a magnet to those little things. I'm pretty sure they just like fly on me as I walk by. <laughs> Or it could possibly be because I have a tendency to get off the trail and, you know, into the tall grass sometimes. So, you know, I guess they need some way to get out into the world. So I guess I don't mind helping out. At least they just stick to my clothes. It's the ticks I would not be so willing to help relocate. Those things freak me out. <laughs> I literally just itch thinking about them. Yeah, it's weird how thinking or imagining something can, you know, make you actually have the feelings that they're crawling around. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of ticks. So, I mean, maybe if they didn't attach to your body, I wouldn't mind them so much. But then again, I'm not a big fan of roaches either. And they don't bite. So I suppose they'd probably give me the creeps either way. I do like bugs like these though. I really don't have any issues with 
beetle type bugs or I guess more specifically this is a species of shield backed bugs of the family Scutellaridae. This particular insect Spheroceros annulus or more commonly known as the Picasso bug or Zulu hud bug is present in tropical and subtropical Africa. And of course the bright colors on the bug are a warning to predators that I guess they probably don't taste good or they're poisonous maybe and they emit a noxious odor odor when they're disturbed. I guess when you're little, you've got to do what you can to survive. And that is all I have to say about this one. So there will be links to everything I used in the descriptions of this video. And I want to give a big thanks to all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I will talk to everybody in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you guys. Bye, bitches.